Fluorescent lights, including compact fluorescent lights, or CFL or light-emitting diodes, LEDs. Well, here's a head-to-head -head comparison of the two followed by an in-depth discussion of each technology in turn. Fluorescent light bulbs are a specific type of gas discharge light. CFL is an acronym that stands for Compact Fluorescent Light. Standard fluorescent lights are available in tubes. CFL are much smaller. They are still tubes but they are, as the name implies, compact. CFL were designed to replace standard applications for incandescent bulbs as they are both more efficient and longer lasting. Fluorescent bulbs produce light by converting ultraviolet emissions with a fluorescent coating on the inside of the tube. UV radiation is generated in the first place by an electrical charge that is run through the inert mercury glass internal to the bulb. The gas is excited by the electricity and releases ultraviolet radiation as a consequence. Fluorescent lights require ignition which is typically provided by a voltage pulse or a third electrode internal to the bulb. Starting is relatively simple with small tubes but can require significant voltage with larger lights. A diode is an electrical device or component with two electrodes through which electricity flows characteristically in only one direction. Diodes are generally made from semiconductive materials such as silicon or selenium solid-state substances that conduct electricity in some circumstances and not in others. When current passes through the semiconductor material the device emits visible light. It is very much the opposite of a photovoltaic cell. Considering the upsides, you might think that LED lights are a no-brainer. While this is increasingly becoming the case, there are still a few trade-offs that need to be made when you choose LED. In particular, LED lights are relatively expensive. The upfront costs of an LED lighting project are typically greater than most of the alternatives. This is by far the biggest downside that needs to be considered. That said, the price of LED are rapidly decreasing and as they continue to be adopted en masse the price will continue to drop. The first practical use of LED was in circuit boards for computers. Since then they have gradually expanded their applications to include traffic lights, lighted signs, and more recently, indoor and outdoor lighting. Much like fluorescent lights, modern LED lights are a wonderful solution for gymnasiums, warehouses, schools, and commercial buildings. They are also adaptable for large public areas, road lighting, and parking lots. For an interesting take on the history of street lighting in the United States, read here. The two different technologies are entirely different methods of producing light. Fluorescent bulbs contain inert gas within the glass casing while LED or solid-state technology. Fluorescent lights produce UV radiation and then convert it into visible light through the use of a phosphor coating inside the bulb. LED emit electromagnetic radiation across a small portion of the visible light spectrum and don't waste energy by producing waste heat or non-visible electromagnetic radiation such as UV. There is such a thing as an iron, infrared emitting diode which is specifically designed to emit infrared energy. As good as fluorescent light efficiency has become, LED is better. As long as fluorescent lights last, LED lights last much longer. Further, fluorescent lamps require the use of a ballast to stabilize the internal current that produces light. When the ballast is a minor imperfection or is damaged, the light can produce an audible buzzing noise. Other shortcomings include waste disposal issues and non-directional light generation. Non-directional light generation is a bigger deal than you might think. For example, light that is being directed at the ceiling rather than the room is wasted light. Therefore, CFL might have good source efficiency, but will fall short of LED when it comes to the more important measure, system efficiency. LED are available in a wide range of color temperatures that generally span from 2200K 6000K, ranging from yellow to light blue. Fluorescent light is available in a range of CCT values that can be adjusted by changing the amount of phosphor inside the bulb. Typical values range between warm white at 2700K to daylight at 6500K depending on the lighting requirement. CRI for LED is highly dependent on the particular light in question. That said, a very broad spectrum of CRI values is available ranging generally from 6595. Typical CRI values for fluorescent light are between 62 and 80. This is fairly good color rendering but it leaves room for improvement when compared to LED. LED are an ideal light for purposely turning on and off because they respond rather instantaneously. There is no warm up or cool down period. They produce steady light without flicker. Fluorescent lights exhibit a short delay when turning on. Older fluorescent models actually required a significant warm up period before the tube would light but this has been improved with newer. Rapid start fluorescent lights. Possible failures or delays in the startup process are typically due to faulty starters, transformers, or ballast. Fluorescent bulbs may also flicker, display swirling or pink light, light at the ends of the tube only, or cycle on and off as the bulb reaches the end of its useful life. LED are very easy to dim and options are available to use anywhere from 100% of the light to 0.5%. LED dimming functions by either lowering the forward current or modulating the pulse duration. Near CFL bulbs can be dimmed very effectively while older fluorescent bulbs are often not suitable for dimming. If looking to dim a fluorescent bulb, 
Make sure that you choose a ballast that is rated for dimming. LED emit light for 180 degrees. This is typically an advantage because light is usually desired over a target area. Rather than all 360 degrees around the bulb, you can read more about the impact of directional lighting by learning about a measurement called useful lumens or system efficiency. Fluorescent light is omnidirectional meaning it emits light for 360 degrees, requiring fixture housings or reflectors to direct the emitted light. LED are very efficient relative to every lighting type on the market. Typical source efficiency ranges 37 and 120 lumens slash watt. Where LED really shine, however, is in their system efficiency. Most values for LED system efficiency fall above 50 lumens slash watt. Fluorescent and CFL lights are very efficient compared to incandescent lights. They lose out to LED principally because their system efficiency is much lower due to all of the losses associated with omnidirectional light output and the need to redirect it to a desired area. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.